these are some of the Wright Brothers uh, medals that they were awarded, probably about 1907 and 1909. My name's Gino Passi, and I am an archivist here at Special Collections and Archives at the Paul Lawrence Dunbar Library at Wright State University. This is the bent and propeller Wright Model C. My job here is a collections manager slash archivist, so my, my main duty is to go out into the public and get collections and to work with donors in donating historic materials here. I like going to people's basements or their attics or their businesses and talking with people who may not think what they have is valuable, but telling them, hey, we're interested in this stuff and this will be historically significant, if not now, 50 years from now. This place is a very creatively inspiring place to work because there's not a day that goes by that something fascinating doesn't cross your desk, whether it's something from the Wright brothers or Charles F. Kettering or myriad religious or arts institutions that Dayton has. It's just every day you're holding something in your hand that not a lot of people get to see on a regular basis. One day I was working with an old collection and I saw this uh, beautiful uh, photograph and there was a woman in the photograph and uh, it inspired me to write this film, the screenplay about a young archivist, curator, who becomes obsessed with uh, a woman in an old photograph that he finds in one of the collections. And that's the sort of genesis of the film. Scene 11D, take two. Action. Well, the film won't appeal to everyone, you know. There are no zombie apocalypse, there's no car chase, there is no shootout. It's a small, what? short film about uh, two people oh, who find it hard yeah, to move on with their lives. Uh, a very young man well, and, a, and an older woman. Well, what can we do to foil them? Over the course Why? of this e evening together, that they spend together, they come to the conclusion that they've got to take a step forward with their life. He wrote an amazing script. He made an amazing short film. Um, I think this is really going to help people notice him. I hope he continues to go on and make films, and I hope that someday he and I can work together again. I think its appeal will be broad because I think they're all issues that are collective to, to all of us. I've been making short films, but I'd like to move into a feature, uh, making feature films as well, but that's, you know, time and money. But hopefully this will be number two of, of many to come. Okay.